Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I want to wish you all a very happy birthday for those celebrating the later part of this month. Um, I have some messages that I'm going to relay to you before we go into, you know, the, the spread for this month, okay? So it feels to me almost as if um, some of you are trying to um, move away from a relationship. And uh, one of the things that I feel is there is a lot of love and affection and, you know, this sense of responsibility in that relationship. Both parties trying to do the right thing. Both parties staying together potentially um, because they want to keep the family unit intact. Okay, so you might have children with a person. You might have a, a marriage situation, for example. And so there's this sense of like uh, responsibilities weighing down and kind of uh, putting a damper on a relationship. So I feel like the relationship itself ha um, was subsisting. It was subs uh, it was just maintaining and it was very difficult for both parties. I feel that there's still I feel like you, you might have been involved with somebody and they had some type of emotional issues. OK, so I feel like. They have some things in their past that they're not able to overcome. And so they bring their, their emotional baggage into the existing relationship with you. So they might be unnecessarily like jealous. They might be very possessive, a little bit controlling even. And so you might realize that all the love, all the, you know, faithfulness and dedication that you're giving them can't really help them overcome you know their emotional baggage from the past and i feel like it's um created discord in the relationship where you try to give it your all you try to fix things and you try to do things to appease the other person's anxieties to calm the other person but this is the month in which you might you know need to draw the line or you might realize that they need some professional help or they might not be ready to be a good relationship partner to you. And so they're going to need to take that, uh, you know, take the, the road, like um, go off on their own in order to overcome these emotional challenges so that they can be a good relationship partner to you or to other people that they're going to start dating in the future. So I feel like major realizations have come in regarding a significant relationship that you're in. And um, I also feel that, you know, the situation, of course, can be reversed, where it might be you that has these emotional hangups. And because of that, your partner might realize that, you know, there he or she is putting in a lot of the work to try to make it OK for you to provide that stability, to provide that trust, to make you whole again. And I feel that they are um, they're not feeling confident that they're able to do that for you so they might you know throw in the towel and they might try to branch out and you know start uh dating new people for example so that they they might figure out that you know that they can't really help the relationship okay so i feel a lot of it is coming through and the realization of the fact that Yes, you might love another person, but if you yourself are not whole or if they themselves are not whole, if you yourself are dealing with a lot of emotional baggage and if they themselves are not able to let go of emotional baggage from the past, you both, no matter how much you love each other, no matter how much, how supportive you try to be there for each other, it might not create that stability that you're hoping for. So I do feel some challenges coming in in that manner. Uh, what I'm also feeling based on this spread here is... Um, you are getting contact from a past relationship partner and there are some issues here regarding you know financial uh, arrangement somebody is uh, owe somebody some money so i do feel the element of money financial resources share resources joint accounts for example all of these things are coming back for re-examination um, i do feel that currently this month financially things are going to look up for you okay but i feel that you need to really be diligent about settling debts from the past so that you can systematically and uh, successfully handle the financial situation that's going to be uh, opening up for you in the future so I feel some of you are in, have been in the position. So this is something that could be happening for this month. If you have been, you know, soliciting like um, jobs 
if you have been sending out your resume, sending out, you know, um, working on your contacts, building your professional contacts as well, or even sending out your resume for a new job. I do feel there is going to be a job that's coming through and I do feel it's going to pay you handsomely. Okay. So they're saying a job coming through. Um, I do feel some of you might be reverting to a healthcare industry, some type of a healing industry. It could even be dentistry. It could be even be like dental hygiene, for example, but there's an element here of it being in the healing profession. And there's also a lot of potential for growth associated with it. Okay, so healing profession in some way, you could even do sales for like a pharmaceutical company that's still marginally considered in the healing profession where you're dealing with the public, where you're, you're doing something related to health, okay, mental, physical, emotional health for other people. So job applications that have been sent out i feel that you're going to get very very positive feedback i feel that some people might solicit you as well to come through for job interviews and i do sense that you're going to be able to shine so whatever you've been waiting on i do feel it's going to come full circle it's going to cu uh, culminate in a really fruitful way and i also feel some of you are dealing with like child support issues based on this combination here um, it basically denotes, you know, some type of a breakdown within a household unit. Um, there might be issues about, you know, owning property or things that you have accumulated over time, property, furniture, housing, and, um, you know, joint bank accounts and things like that. And I feel that one person might have left that arrangement. One person moved away. So it could be like a separation where you're no longer involved with that person and uh, you're trying to figure out how to divide up your assets and likewise if you have children there's going to be custody issues okay wanting to like settle the score with the other person associated with to uh with like dividing up the assets between the two of you selling the house fixing the house selling the house having a conversation with an ex-partner about how to divide things adequately and i also feel ex-partners possibly wanting you to up child support for whatever reason okay so i feel like there's a, a lot of things happening on the periphery but the major thing is i do feel your financial situation improving and i do feel a lot of feedback and possibly new projects happening in the work front that will allow you to take on new projects implement new projects and being able to reap the financial rewards as a result of handling and arranging these new projects so they look very good the other thing that I'm feeling as well is um, there are that um, there 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 are elements here about the work situation or something in your environment okay so dealing with people who are very rigid who are a little bit structured too structured who are a little bit too um a, too much of a you know a, a stickler for rules and regulations and i do feel that it's forcing they're forcing you to conform and the ways in which you do work, the ways in which you handle work, where you take a very creative approach to problem solving, where you take a, a, a more creative approach to, you know, implementing new ideas, implementing new plans. I feel that they're saying that in the new work environment or existing work environment, there's a lot of procedures, rules and regulations that you need to abide by. So that means you might not have the capability right now or the uh, the the... You might have not have the permission to move forward with the things that you want in the ways that you want. So there is um, there are people in your environment questioning the things that you're doing every step of the way. So you feel a little bit like under the, the microscope, you feel a little bit like scrutinized and you also feel like you have to answer to everybody every step of the way. And it's really dampening your ability to uh, creatively bring forth projects and things like that the way that you know how and the manner that you know how. So I do feel a lot of restrictions and it's coming through from personal responsibilities like family. Um, you might want to geographically change your location, but when it comes to family, there might be constraints, you know, like a uh, mother, elderly mother, or elderly father, elderly parents that need you to stay nearby. And likewise, the type of work that you want is for example, only concentrated in a specific geographical location. 
So you have to stay there if you want to work in that industry. So it really prevents your ability to be mobile and to move about, mainly because the type of work that you're qualified for might not be available in the new area that you want to live in. So I do see some geographical constraints coming through as a result of this card. It's for, it's you might feel like you're being pigeonholed into a certain type of work mainly because it's only cluster in this location so you can't really branch out and explore and what i'm also feeling as well is that a lot of you are looking for new opportunities you're making quite um like stable income and i feel that you might be in a position where it's very prominent position you know you might be in the public eye and you also feel that that's almost limiting your ability to develop, you know, close personal relationships with the people around you, mainly because you're held to a different standard. You have to be behave a certain way. So you project more of a very professional, very detached and a very, you know, objective um, persona in your social circle so i feel that there is an element here about you know conformity social conformity doing what everybody expects us to do and feeling a little bit kind of like feeling a little bit on edge that we can't really express ourselves the way that we want this is the card of cancer so this is your card and when it shows up in the reverse and uh, especially in the the spread that signifies you it basically means that your freedom of expression your ability to really behave and express yourself in a manner in which you want might be severely limited mainly because the people around you are um, are conforming to a structure that's not allowing you to communicate okay one of the major um i, I guess like outlets one of the the thing that will help this energy here is to communicate in a way that is upholding the truth authentically true as well so Rather than seeking those, you know, uh, really person, uh, really personable or really uh, deeply, I, I want to say emotional um, conversations or connections, I feel that you might be in a capacity for this month to be able to connect to a lot of people, but you, you might need to change the way in which you relate. So that means being a lot more objective, being a lot more like... Um, how is this going to look like five years from now? What are you planning to do with this, you know, loan if it's offered to you? So I feel like reaching out to people in a technical and also in a very practical way is going to allow you to build your public image, to build your credibility so that you are also experiencing this other part of yourself where people come to you because they really respect you and they really trust your expertise rather than having people come to you just because they want that emotional you know connection so changing the way that you communicate and especially communicating in a way that is very linear that is very concise that is a lot more objective and practical and in the spirit of problem solving that's going to allow a lot of people to come to you and to see things from your perspective okay so I don't feel any challenges per se coming through for this month. I just feel that your ability so far to implement the, the things that you want has not been, um, it, it, it feels like it has been uh, stall, delay or something like that. And I feel that one of the breakthrough happening for this month is finding a different way to relay the same message more in an objective manner, in a also economically feasible manner to allow people to come on board so that they can entrust you with the full responsibility of launching projects without you know having to micromanage you and without having to like um, put in their two cents after you have already taken the reins of the situation okay so i feel a lot of success overall it's going to be coming through it's going to be felt i feel like the later part of the month where when everything starts to settle when the 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 hard work and the dedication that you've been uh, doing will start to really you know become noticed and other people will see that you are somebody who's dedicated who's committed and who's not just you know a creative thinker with um, lofty goals I feel like they're gonna start to see you in a different manner and they're gonna start to see your true uh, capabilities and your true skills shining um, they're gonna be able to it's like shining a light on your true personality your true skills and knowing how you're able to practically not just creatively but practically solve problems for the greater good okay so 
cancers i'm happy to see this for you i do feel it's going to be a really good month overall um i feel like the month of june has been a very transformative month for a lot of the signs you are the fifth sign that i'm reading for and i feel like a lot of breakthroughs happen in may and it could be the change in season overall, but I feel like a lot of breakthroughs are happening across the board and I'm really happy to see this uh, energy coming through for many, many signs. So let's see what's in store for you guys for the month of uh, June, love, romance and relationships. So cancers, love, romance, and relationships for the month of June. I'm reading these in the upright position. It makes it easier for me. By the way. Okay, I'm going to pull out one more card. For this end. Okay. okay, so we have a fire sign that's heavily in the picture. So let me talk about this person. So first of all, we have here the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is a sun, moon, or rising sign, okay? Um, this is somebody who's very adventurous, very brave, very courageous. And um, I also feel as well, this is somebody that is very in love with you, very adamant about wanting to be with you, wanting to see you, and wanting to, you know, build a relationship with you. I feel that this person has worked really hard. They're very accomplished. So I feel like this is not just, you know, somebody like um, in school or unemployed or, you know, just drifting through life. This is somebody who is a working professional. They're very directed with their energy. And when they see something that they want, they really go for it. So it's somebody who's ambitious, both in their career and also in love. So I feel like they're, they wear their heart on their sleeves. And they have made it known multiple times that they really want to be with you. So I feel like you're dealing with this person. Um, for singles as well, there might be a person like this coming through and they're gunning for you. So this is pretty much, you know, somebody that is that has the hots for you and they really want to be with you. And they're going to be very vocal and very clear about their intentions. Um, it's linked up here with the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is um, kind of like that earlier message that I got with the other uh, spread. Working diligently towards a common purpose. So I do feel that they are investing. If you are in a relationship with them, they're investing a lot in this relationship in order to you know, make you happy, in order to keep things alive, in order to keep things afloat with you. In the past, we have here the Justice card, and this deals with legal separation, legal paperwork. So some of you have um, extracted yourself from a person, and I feel like there might have been legal assets being divided. There might have been um, child custody issues. There might also be some challenges when it comes overall to, you know, how to divide your assets together, disputes about child custody, as well as, you know, some troublesome situations. It's like a messy um, end of a relationship where there's a lot of financial entanglements and you have to slowly, slowly unravel things. And um, there might be children involved as well with the Six of Cups here. This is a card about, you know, childhood memories, nostalgia, etc. But I feel like some of you are in a relate, were in a relationship. There has been separation. There's still children in the picture. You're still dealing with the residual effects of, you know, how do we... Um, come to an agreement when it comes to custody, child custody, or even child support. For others of you, you might be with a, a fire sign, so Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And uh, there's a very strong, very, very strong connection between the two of you here with the Six of uh, Cups. 
And the Six of Cups basically means two people who really love one another. But for whatever reason, they have some legal issues that they're dealing with. You might have some legal issues that you're dealing with as well. That's not preventing the two of you from coming together. And um, for whatever reason, this applies to you. They might be, you know, facing a d divorce and they don't want to get involved until it's resolved. They might be dealing with other legal issues, whatever that might be on their end. And it's hard for the both of you to come together, okay, as a, a unit for whatever reason because of legality. In the foundation, the foundation is something uh, you already have the knowledge of coming into the month of June. You have somebody in your life that's making you really happy. And I feel that you are meeting somebody who is your equal. So, for example, if you, for example, are um, kind of like in, in the public limelight, right? You're meeting somebody that has the same type of education, same type of financial stability, the same type of just um, wherever you are in life, you're meeting somebody who is your equal match, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of admiration. There's a lot of mutual love and support coming through with this spread. And this spread, I, I'm sorry, this card usually denotes to me like meeting somebody at an outdoor professional or social function. And then when you meet somebody, when you meet this person, it's almost like love at first sight because it, it's like two people meeting for the first time and feeling very physically attracted to one another. And then once they start a conversation, it seems like everything just, you know, takes off. OK, so I feel like um, for singles, there is a lot of chance encounter meetings here at a social event or a professional event, usually outdoors, usually like in the the late afternoon evening going into the night so i feel like there's a lot of opportunities here to meet new people and it's also linked up here with the nine of swords so the nine of swords in the relationship context i usually think of this as um staying up really late talking to one another texting one another um staying really 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 late up into you know in the middle of the night mainly because you want to be in contact with another person all the time and I have as well the hangman, and the hangman is usually being put in an uncomfortable situation, waiting for situations to get better. So I feel like you have somebody that you're really, um, if you're with them, you're really in love with. And there's some worries, and I feel like it might be because of your financial issue. You might be worried their financial issue or some legal issues that's not allowing you both to come together in a... Um, fateful manner okay so I, I do see some hang-ups here but if it's a new person I do sense that it can be a really good experience overall because there's a lot of attraction here crowning this reading is something you are thinking about we have here the four of cups and the four of cups is weighing out our options reassessing okay weighing out the pros and cons if we go with this what are the opportunity costs if we go with this person what are the opportunity costs so I feel that some of you might be in a position where you are single or even if you're not single you're still for whatever reason you're dating you're meeting a lot of new people you're weighing out your options and i do feel that you've been hurt before so at this point you either want to find the exact person that you can be with for the long haul or you've been hurt before and you just want to take it light take it very slowly and you just want to play the field and so I feel like it can go one of two ways but you know that if you go out with this person it might negate the other choices it might rule out the other people that are also interested in you so I feel like you're being very careful there's an element here about somebody being in the limelight and so for example uh, based on social expectations if you're a, a very public figure you might be inclined to date only a specific type of people because you don't want to be seen with a different type. So there is a sense here of social conformity, wanting to be socially appropriate when you are seen or when you are out or when you are dating a specific type of people. Okay, and um, I don't feel like that's a good thing, but in this reading, it is very, um, it's, it's very like neutral. So I feel like because of your public image, you might be constrained about who you get to date, even though you might want a specific person, there might be social constraints, okay? So th that's overall what I'm feeling. And moving forward into the future position, we have here the Four of Swords and the Temperance card. 
The Four of Swords basically indicates a, a stalled in communication, blockages in communication, as well as the Temperance card. And the Temperance card is all about, you know, being patient and waiting. Um, if something is stalled when it comes to your relationship sector, if you're not hearing from another person, or if somebody is throwing a temper tantrum, for example, and they're upset for whatever reason, they're not giving you feedback and they're not talking to you, I do feel it's going to start to clear itself up, but they're saying to be very diligent and, and to wait it out, okay? So don't make rash decisions. Um, I'm also feeling as if, you know, going back to the first message that I picked up, you might be dealing with somebody who blows very hot and cold. They're very passionate one minute and they're icy cold the next. So I feel like there is a very strong emotional up and down. So you might be dealing with someone that has like emotional, very, very strong emotional issues, okay, that they need to work through. And I feel like, I feel that they need the time off on their own to sort out their own life so you constantly um being that crutch for them i feel that that's taking its emotional toll on you and it's also really blocking your progress when it comes to your dating life and to move on completely okay so yes on the one hand you want to be supportive and you want to be there for the ex for example i feel like it's really important for you to realize as well that they might need they might need that time and the space apart they might need professional help even and so what you do this month in your relationship sector is quite important and i i would say that you know we're not here to be saviors for other people okay people need to be able to take care of themselves and they need to be whole first to be a good relationship partner so i feel like while you want the best for other people while you want to you know get your hands dirty and and dig in and help other people um, as a relationship partner, we're not supposed to complete the other person. They need to do that inner work on their own, okay? So, Cancers, um, best of luck with everything, okay? I know that this is not the most positive um, relationship reading, but I do feel that the, um, the other component of it basically ties in with, you know, where you are expending your energy, how you're doing so, and whether or not it is productive for you, okay? So if you'd like to book a private reading with me, please visit my website in the description box below. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. The link is down below as well. Um, for the scheduling for June, I'm not sure where I'm going to be and I'm not sure what my schedule is going to look like. So maybe by next Friday, I will, you know, um, the, the scheduling time frames time slots will start to change okay week by week because i'm not really sure what my schedule is going to look like but if you'd like to book a uh, an appointment with me um please visit my website all right i will talk to you soon take care of yourself i wish you the best cancers bye bye